planning to do so but you know life has been happening i've been so busy i've been doing so much and you know i just wanted to sort of relax from doing live videos and all but today i am going to be talking to one of my really good friends she's such an amazing lady she's an organizing and productivity consultant and um She's also a coach for business leaders and their teams. She's a phenomenal woman. And today we are going to be talking about finding clarity in relationships. I know some of you are in relationships that you don't even, you know, understand what you're doing there. You're in some friendships that you don't even know why you're even being friends with these certain people. So today we're going to, you know, just sort of tell you you know things you need to know things you need to look out for and you know how to find clarity in relationships so i'm just waiting for her to request to be in my life hi jasmine i see you um please just request to be in my live video so that we can you know start this up and just you know let people know how to find clarity in relationships because a lot of people are in relationships that they have no business being in people have like groups of friends that they shouldn't even be friends with some people are dating people who they have no business dating so we're also you know we're going to put jasmine on and yeah i'm gonna go live with her i'm just waiting for her to connect um, let me just open my blinds let me open my blinds i need more lights coming hey Hey girl, hey. what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm okay. Wow, uh -oh. you so gorgeous. As Thank always. you. You too. Wow. Hi. I like how you look. I love the laid downness of your hair. So <laughs> good one. I made this hair by myself. You know, I made it all by myself. Yeah, you said so, and I was quite impressed. I just stood in front of the mirror and I just started like I was lining and weaving and lining and weaving because. Wow. Of course, you know how these things are now. This is this is Canada. <laughs> I've never even made my hair here before, like this kind of hair. Wow. It cost me. And then this period, you don't want just anybody coming into your home. Because, of course, everyone is trying to stay safe and all of that. Hi! I thought you would come with your natural hair. Because your hair is like so, so lush. I know, right? <laughs> so really but well, not today. Maybe some other time. All right, so guys. hi everyone thanks for joining sorry that we delayed life happened <laughs> you know, I, I, you have... take responsibility. I take responsibility for the delay because today has just been one of those crazy days and it's almost as if like when your kids know that you have something to do that's when they just like want to hold you back so like i have had to edit my youtube videos i've had to, i had to sit down to feed my four-year-old which he you know he doesn't normally do that he feeds himself but i think sometimes when they know that you want to do something they just like want you to just be around them and just give them like all of your time but we're here I feel you. so i apologize to you and all the people who have been waiting to watch apologies it's okay, mm -hmm. it's okay. no pressure no worries it's Thank fine you. yeah so thanks everyone for joining. Thank you, Rika, for having me. Thank you, You're thank welcome. you, thank you. So I thought to do a bit, a bit of an introduction of why I'm here today uh, yes, for please. anybody tuning in and anybody who gets to watch the replay. Uh, so I'm going on a tour. It's, it's called the Life Harmony Tour. And I started the, the movement on, on the tour uh, last week, Thursday. My first stop was on Naomi's platform and my second stop is here. And the movement is just to help people, you know, elevate their level of awareness, elevate their sense of self and consciousness which i think uh is very paramount in the times that we're in I, I just feel like there's a movement in the air where everybody's thinking uh is being more reflective and asking questions like what is it what is it to life and these are times when if you don't handle this situation well you get stressed you get anxious you get overwhelmed and a lot of people are going to be having uh, mental health issues because they don't have answers uh, so this is the time when clarity becomes your your gold you know so 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 when i spoke with her you can said i'm on a tour i'm going about helping people she said would you want to talk to my uh, my community about relationships and that's why we're here today yes 
definitely definitely thank you so much and thank you for finding you know the time to come here because i know you're really busy and um, you're also a mom you have kids your husband is there like you have so much on your hands but you took out time to be here so thank you so so much and keep up the good work keep it up um i see you i love what you're doing and i know that you know this is just the beginning of like huge 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 things to come thank you're you welcome. you are so welcome okay so we're talking about finding clarity in relationships how do you find clarity in relationships but before you even start talking i want to quickly talk about how we met because yeah you should talk yeah, about that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because that should even be like the springboard of this conversation. Um, I know we met in Nigeria, I think about maybe five years ago or something, when um, I went to the hospital, Premier Hospital, and you were there as well. And um, yeah. you reached out to me. No, you say it. It's Twitter from your mouth. Say <laughs> so um, I, I, I had just had my second child at the time. Uh, I had her in the United States, traveled back to Nigeria. So I had to do her, um, what's it called now? Her, you know, they, yeah monthly checks with with the premier hospital then so i walked in one day it was my baby's uh, appointment for checkup and i walked in and i met arike who i had seen prior to then on tv on uh youtube on radio everywhere i mean girl she was a very <laughs> <laughs> powerful media girl in nigeria so and i i've heard i've listened to her some of her plat her, her shows on her platform and i've loved your messaging and i saw you in the hospital that day i walked up to you and said hi rike and i remember you were like hey have we met or something yeah. i i'm in the habit of doing that i do that a lot so i said oh, we haven't met you know face to face but i know you i know your platforms i follow you i'm a fan of yours and and she was happy she was impressed and we just got chatting immediately we started talking about life being moms you know motherhood children and babies and all and that was the only time we ever ever met face to face right then, and then I we, exchanged, to... we exchanged the um, numbers yeah and then you told me you were moving moving to canada and i was like what are you going to do in canada ah, all the way yeah and little did i know that i would also be moving to canada i know i know right <laughs> and now i'm here and then we found each other again on social media so yeah yeah awesome. so let's go right into the top let's go right into yeah. the topic of today so uh Let's go. So first things first, why am I the one to talk about relationships? So I want to put out a disclaimer before I go ahead that I am not a relationship expert. I am not a relationship coach. Okay, you guys. So please, I do not go by any of those titles officially. Uh, professionally, like Arika said when she introduced me, I'm an organizing and productivity consultant and coach. That's my domain. Uh, but why relationships? Because I happen to love relationships. I actually started a relationship blog way before I started my business, but I didn't pursue it. that. Yeah, I didn't pursue that passion. So I love to talk about relationships. And in my work with my clients, in my job as an organizing and productivity consultant, people talk about relationships. They bring their relationship issues to me. So I saw myself having to research, having to, you know, understand relationships better so I could help my clients better. So that was how relationship came into the mix for me. And I developed models that, you know, I've looked back and I've reflected and the models have helped me in my own relationships. So I share them with my clients and they go, wow. They go, wow. So I felt, okay, when we, I really can talk about relationships, I said it would be a great topic because it, all of us can connect, right? Maybe. Our relationships yes. are a huge part of our lives, very significant part of our lives. If we don't get relationships right, our health will be affected, our work, our finances, our lifestyle, our mental state, every single aspect of our lives will be negatively impacted Definitely. if we do not get, yes. So relationship is a major, major, is a key part of our life. So that's why I'm interested in it and in sharing, you know, with people about how they can better their relationships.